Hey everyone, just a little quick video update for miniature painting wise. Uh, these are Gamble's Brigade of Buford's Division for the Army of the Potomac for Fire and Fury. Uh, they're 15 millimeter Stone Mountain miniatures based uh, for Brigade Fire and Fury using the uh, optional uh, quote unquote uh, more accurate frontage uh, for Brigade. Uh, with the inch and a half frontage instead of, and three miniatures per base instead of the inch frontage. But uh, Gamble's Brigade, according to uh, Brigade Fire and Fury, is eight stands. So we have the eight mounted stands and then the six uh, dismounted stands with two horse holder stands. Uh, these guys have been in progress for a really long time. I painted Devon's Brigade quite a while ago, I think a couple summers ago, and I had started getting through, you know, saying, hey, I'm gonna finish up all the and get done. So I think I got it, you know, base coated and I painted the horses, and then I stopped them, you know, for a while. And then when Mini Warmut was doing the January painting challenge this last January, after I finished my ESR miniature 10 millimeters, I said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna hack on these guys. And I finally got them done. And even even then, they took for freaking ever to get done. Uh, man, I, I just I don't know. The painting motivation for Calvary is very low for me, but. Uh, even even it being Union Calvary, man, it just painting Calvary just saps my energy. Um, maybe it has to do with the fact that there's a mounted and a dismounted version, uh, and so it's just you're basically painting two different units for one. But that's okay. That basically means, at least for the Gettysburg Order battle, I am completed on my cavalry, so I don't have to worry about cavalry anymore. I think uh, long term I will go and paint the entire Federal Cavalry Corps and also the Confederate Cavalry, even though for the Fire and Fury scenarios they're not used. That way I've got them for use in other scenarios or it'd be kind of fun to do a grand Fire and Fury Gettysburg campaign and you know where the actual Cavalry might become more prevalent, even more prevalent than what they actually were during the historical campaign. So. Just a quick couple quick swoopy shots and I'll be on my way. I do have my GMT Civil War game still ongoing. I've done the next Union turn. I'll play the Confederate portion of the turn later this evening and then I'll uh, edit the video together and get it uploaded probably Friday, so. Anyways, there we go. Fire and Fury, Federal Cavalry, Army of the Potomac, Gambles, Brigade. All right, talk to you all later. See you. Bye.